It's hard to talk about homelessness without talking about affordable housing, and one Lawton realtor is helping people get off the street and into homes. 7 News reporter Jonathan Lewis met several of the people she's helped over the last week, and Jonathan, you say each person has their own story. They do, Tara, and each story is very different. That's why she's had a busy week since the, since the approach for finding each of them a place to stay has been similar but unique in its own way. This week, Lawton realtor Brenda Spencer Raglan has found herself helping at least eight families who were struggling to find housing. All now have roofs over their heads. We've, we've had a surge, quite honestly, of people finding themselves looking for affordable housing or just looking for a second chance. One of those people, Elmo Lewis, walked to Lawton from Altus with a shopping cart holding his few belongings and his dog. He'd been priced out of his apartment and had limited income and even fewer options, especially because he refused to give up his dog. He goes everywhere I go, or I don't go. I'm hoping this will help other people to come to these people and people like them that can help instead of going to people that make false promises and lies. 22-year-old Her Majesty Robinson found herself homeless after her mother passed away. She was living in the alley behind the home that her mother once lived in. She says Brenda's help gave her much more than just a roof. I was in foster care for like a really long time and having, you know, someone like Miss Brenda or, you know, to just help me as much as she does and all the resources that they give me, it really does mean a lot, you know, because I've never had that. Brenda says it's her purpose to help her community and she'll continue to do that as long as she's called on to serve in those ways. If you're doing it for the economics, it's not there. Um, it's far more than the house. It's getting them to a job. It's making sure that they can, they can be stabilized so they too can care for others. Brenda says that she hopes that others will also help fellow community members. While we were there with her, she had at least three other people reach out for assistance, something she says she's prepared to do. Reporting for 7 News, I'm Jonathan Lewis.